Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Ian and we are going to minister to 10 people. If you would like to receive ministry also and your name is not on the list, just write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. Alright, so now the first person I want to minister to is Lawrence. Lawrence, the Lord shows me how you have seeds and some of them are dry so you can plant them and then some of those seeds are not dry yet so you're waiting for them to dry out so that you can plant them and I felt that the Lord says you know when when the fruit are juicy then it's nice to eat it or the seeds but when they dry and they test it and there's no excitement and they're still strong and they still work then they're gonna help you on the long term and I felt that the Lord says many strategies come to you but you need to test them and use the wisdom that God has given to you to only use the ones that are gonna work for the long term and so I felt that in this year uh, 2025 this year coming the Lord is really gonna help you to weed through a lot of activities that you do and just to keep the the top cream the best part of it and then the other ones kind of just kind of face it out and then as you do it then you'll see that top part will explode and multiply by 10 times the Lord loves you very much God bless you Lawrence okay Malvina the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of an old clock where you have set and wound up the clock regularly and then suddenly it's like a cuckoo clock that opens up but this is your divine appointment with the Holy Spirit and I just see how when the time is ready how you change and transform in authority in walking in power in the spirit i just see how when you start to pray it is like you never prayed like this it is with authority it is with uh, direction and i see it's definitely connected with the spirit how you're just gonna connect and what you pray for it's almost like a, a game of chess where you already know what the player is going to move next so you know how to strategize and how you're going to walk uh, with the Lord so that the enemy cannot stand against you. Be blessed. Hello, Malvina. The Lord is giving you supernatural joy and supernatural strength and it's important for you to walk in that. All right. God bless you, Malvina. All right, so the next one is for Stephen. Stephen, uh, the Lord shows me Peter how he was a fisher and then he became a fisher of men. So first he catch natural fish and now he were catching people to come into the kingdom of God. And I felt that the Lord says that he's given you a lot of business skills. He's kind of given you a lot of leadership skills and you've used it uh, in the natural. But now the Lord says I'm going to deploy those same skills uh, in the kingdom of God and in the body of Christ. And you're going to be a leader and you're going to be used with, uh, by God in a mighty way. God bless you Stephen. Okay, Amanda, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Stand strong and see the goodness of the Lord. I just see how even though people come against you, you just stand and you don't speak a word because you feel it's not time to say anything now. And then I see how people expected you to speak a curse, but you turned it around and spoke a blessing. And I just see how there is so much joy in the heavens because you decided to bless and not curse. And I see because of that in your life, a lot of things will work out. I just feel... Like it, it seemed like things is not working out. But now with the spirit, I just see how everything starts to work out. And the Lord says, I'm going to help you to maintain speaking good over people's life for the good in their life. Be blessed. Hey, Amanda, God bless you. His hands upon you. So the next word is for Julia. Uh, so Julia, the Lord is saying, come up higher. I'm lifting you up. I want to show you dreams and visions. I want to make you more sensitive to the realm of the spirit and spiritual things. And I felt that the Lord says that you were made to live out of the supernatural realm and out of the power of God. And that's going to help you also to stay the course and not to be distracted to the left or to the right. And so I, I see how you shut down some of the voices that come to you and you become sensitive to the spirit of God. And then suddenly peace and joy just fills your life. Julia, the Lord loves you very, very much and He's bringing about a massive shift in your life. God bless you. Okay, Jane, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw how you worship. Uh, it's like a light show and in the middle of that you stand and worship and you just worship the Lord. But when you open your mouth, you use your own words. Now, it feels like a lot of times you want to sing and you use other people's words but the Lord says use your own words and suddenly when you use your own words it's just like 
an explosion of light but it looks like flowers how it is just a it's, it's a beautiful picture to see and that is the effects that your worship has so the Lord said I have put those words inside of you that when you utter them there will be a display of light and glory in my kingdom and then I just see how your connection with the Lord is just growing stronger and stronger and stronger yeah, I mean Jane uh, the Lord has made you to be a pillar in the kingdom of God and I see how you grow to the point where circumstances don't affect you because your trust is completely in God all right. uh, God bless you Jane all right, so Hazel uh, Hazel the Lord showed me a cough uh, and this cough uh, is very strong is a good looking cough but it still drinks milk and it still eats a small amount of food and and although it's strong for a cough uh, it, it has its limitations and then that calf goes through the process of crying uh, and become a big ox uh, that eat a lot of food and is very strong and is very steadfast and steady uh, and has a big servant's heart uh, to push and to help and to do whatever needs to be done uh, and I just felt that the Lord says that is how you have grown and the Lord says you are a faithful one uh, you are strong uh, you have submitted yourself to the leadership of Jesus uh, you're walking with him and so therefore uh, the Lord can trust you and he's, uh, he's uh, making you a steward in his kingdom uh, and I just see how you discontinuing faithful with perseverance and endurance and so the Lord says good and faithful servant God bless you okay uh, the next one is for Shanae Shanae the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you do not fear. Do not let your focus off of the Lord. I just see how the circumstances around you that wants to suck you into fear. Uh, but the Lord says, if you stay focused on Him, it's like those guys that walk on a tightrope between two mountains where you'll just be able to walk and you'll make it to the other side. But do not fear. Just put your trust in the Lord. Even though the winds may blow and things may look like it's going to crumble down, the Lord says, just stand and trust me and carry on because I'm there. And even if you fall, the Lord says he's there to catch you. He will not let you be home. Be blessed. Yeah, Shanae, uh, the Lord loves you very much. And the Lord is continuously giving you financial support and he's giving you healing. And I felt those two areas, the, the financial um, you know, just provision that the Lord is giving to you and also the healing. It's just con continuously coming to you as you keep on trusting in God. All right. The Lord loves you very, very much. Shanae is always with you. God bless you. So the next word is for Lucas. Okay. So Lucas, the Lord showed me the pilgrims that came to the United States years back when they just came on the east coast of America. And so these people were Christians. Uh, they were persecuted when they, where they lived in uh, Europe. Uh, and some of them felt that the Lord led them to go to the new world and I didn't even know where it is but they just got in their boat and they had kind of idea and there they went and then they ended up coming on the the east coast of America and there they planted they built farms uh, they started to uh, become civilizations uh, and uh, they 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 figured out how to to establish themselves and I felt that the Lord says that you are like one that is in the boat and you say yes there's the promised land and now you're climbing out and now you're being established and people are helping you uh, and you're building and so the Lord says do not fear and do not be discouraged and say wow well, uh, there's no vision for my life look where I'm at I felt that the Lord says there's massive vision and you're gonna do great and amazing things what is yet to come is gonna be bigger than you ever had in your life before and so you don't have to fear trust in the Lord walk in obedience to him and he is going to help and bless you God bless you Lucas okay the next word is for Mariette Mariette the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw you in a room and you're just trying to close all the curtains to block out any light that comes in but the Lord says do not hide yourself do not uh, turn onto the inside and not allow light of God to come in and I just see how you, when you open the curtains, you say, yes, Lord, I'm going to trust you again and again and again. So even though it feels like where you're at is not always working, the Lord says, I am with you. And that is what matters. A lot of times we are so focused on where am I? What is my progress? But the Lord says, focus on him. He will ascertain that you are right on time where you need to be to doing what you need to do. And I just see that 
because of that connection, it's like your hand goes into a glove and uh, you are so protected. The Lord will look after you. Don't, don't fear. Don't close down. Just keep the, your focus on the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, Mariet, uh, the Lord loves you and you are faithful before the Lord. And uh, as you just continue to be obedient, He is going to be with you. And uh, remember to live out of the Spirit. Don't for one moment live out of the, the flesh. It's, it's important. Hey. Uh, family, it's wonderful for me and Jan to minister uh, to each one of you. Uh, if you would also like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments and we would love uh, to put you on a schedule and to minister to you also. Um, I want to encourage you to check out some of our other content. Uh, Jan has a channel called Heaven's Remnant. You can go and check that out. Uh, and of course, this is uh, the prophetic channel that we minister on. And then I have Unity with Heaven where I post teaching. So you can go and check that also out. Amy has a worship channel. It's called Amy Storm. You can go and look at that also. So uh, we love and appreciate each one of you. Have a fabulous day. God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.